I received a protector type Joy from the company GammaBuy. The great advantage of these devices is that they convert any white wall into a screen whose size can be freely selected within white limits. The Joy is a cheap entry level device which offers a large range of functions by firmware. With a weight of only 1.4kg and the dimensions 145x175x175mm, the Joy is anything but heavy and quite compact so that the device can easily be carried around. For that, a strap of synthetic leather is attached on top of the protector. Included in the shipping box are a power cord, an HDMI and an AV cable as well as a remote control. Let's first take a look at what is inside of the projector. A matrix of 11x6 corresponding to 66 LEDs serves as the light source. These LEDs consume the largest part of the electrical input power and must therefore be actively cooled in order to remove the dissipated power. The fan used for this is temperature controlled but somehow always turned on, which can be heard. The image, generated by 1280x720 pixel LCD and two Fresnel lenses, is directed to the front lens via a mirror. When the projector is turned on, the PC built into the motherboard boots. I choose a rather small projection area for the first tests, there's more on the achievable size later in this video. Once the boot process is complete, the Joy can be connected to peripherals. The first step is to connect the projector to my VLAN network, both the 2.4 and 5GHz frequency band are supported. The VLAN password is entered via a virtual keyboard by remote control or via the buttons on top of the projector. The next step is to add a Bluetooth speaker. This is quickly displayed during the scan and also quickly connected. With that, the protector is ready to send and receive data wirelessly, as the first test I connect a smartphone using a process called MirrorCast. The small smartphone screen now appears much larger, and also the tilting of the screen content whenever the smartphone is tilted is implemented correctly in the firmware. Even videos are transmitted smoothly from the smartphone to the projector. The audio track is output via the internal speakers of the Joy or via the already paired Bluetooth speaker as soon as this is switched on. So, when you go to a system or a place like that, you can't help but be overwhelmed. Every space shuttle mission began with a fiery liftoff from Launch Complex 39 and... When turned off, the audio automatically switches back to the built-in speakers. Headphones or an external amplifier can also be connected via the 3.5mm audio jack. If a USB stick or, as demonstrated here, an external hard drive is connected, videos and photos can be read and displayed directly. Brings me back to the cameras. This video sequence was recorded with the main rear camera. A third way of transferring data is via the built in AV or HDMI socket. Here, the projector is used as a screen for a Raspberry Pi, which lets the small single board computer shine. Somehow. Let's take a closer look at the projection. 
the handwheel on the lens is only for focusing, all other functions are implemented by firmware. The Joy does not have an optical zoom, but the screen content can be reduced by up to 50% via the firmware. However, this also reduces the physical resolution of the projected image, since the zoom is purely digital. A so called lens shift, which is an offset of the image in horizontal or vertical direction is not implemented in hardware either, another concession to the low price tag. However, if the projector is not aligned exactly perpendicular to the center of the screen, which is in practice almost always true, the resulting distortion of the projection can be corrected. The Joy offers the possibility of adjusting the distortion at all four corners of the image in such a way that a rectangular projection is finally created. Here too, the correction is calculated by firmware and not implemented via optics. If the screen is correctly aligned and focused, you get a fairly clear image, without any noticeable distortions or chromatic aberrations, despite or perhaps because of the simple optics. There are photos showing this in detail on the website of how open is this gadget. As already mentioned, the physical resolution is 1280x720 pixels, resulting in an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. You always find something that you didn't know. You've got so many systems, uh, you've got system level experts and technicians that have been out there for so many in order to not to have to use the digital reduction of the screen content, the Joy should be set up at the appropriate distance from the screen. The minimum distance at which the screen content can still be brought into focus is 125cm, which results in a projection diagonal of 95cm. My studio allows a maximum screen diagonal of 236 cm, which is the case at a distance of 288 cm. For all other screen diagonals you can use the good old rule of 3. The larger the illuminated area, the less bright the projection becomes. You shouldn't expect miracles from the toy in terms of brightness. In a darkened room, however, you get a fairly good, pleasantly large and bright projection. The color and quality of the projection surface have a notable influence on the brightness of the image. As with the projector, the screen used here is a low price model. Some of you might already have noticed a distortion that is caused by a buckle in my video wall. An overall good projection is ruled by the sum of all its parts. The Joy can also be mounted upside down on the ceiling, or illuminate a partially translucent surface from the back. The projection is then rotated or mirrored via firmware. During operation around 48 watts of electrical power is consumed. The projector heats up to a little more than 50 degrees Celsius at the hottest point, the outlet of the cooling air. The rest of the case is significantly cooler at less than 40 degrees Celsius. As always, all technical data of the Joy and many high resolution photos of the device and its inner components can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. There you will also find many photos of example projections, with which you can get your own impression of the image quality the Joy delivers, without anyone bubbling of what you should think of it. Thanks for watching and I'll be back!